Alright, so let's talk about the historical fund performance of some of the funds. So, hindi na natin lalahatin kasi it will take too long. Right? Para lang makita nyo na yung potential and reality. No? So, si Film Life Equity Cap Index Fund nag-start siya ng 2020, nag-perform siya ng 7.17%. And then, 2021, naging 1.75%. But last year, it was negative 12%. You know, if titignan mo naman lahat ng funds last year talagang nag-negative. No? The, uh, the market really crashed once again 2022. Right? Nag-recovered in 2021, nag-crash in 2022. But let's look at the potential. Right? Film Life Long-Term Bond Fund, like point 21% and then parehong negative. Uh, Film Life Short-Term Fund, uh, negative 0.01%. Maliit lang, nag-negative man siya, na puro super net below 1%. And then yung, I wanna highlight yung mga elite funds kasi these are some of the new funds that we have. Um, so the Elite Adventures Fund, kumita siya, it has the potential to earn 16.10%, right? Noong 2021. Last year, again, it was a bad year, globally even. So, that's why it's the negative 18.04%. Si Elite Balance Fund, peso, 11.39%. Yung kinita niya ng 2021, negative 14.97% last year. And then, si Elite Conservative Fund, kahit kung conservative na siya, uh, kasi ganun pa rin naman, no? all markets are really affected. 7.98% on 2021, maliit yung uh, mas potential na naging return niya. And then, negative 11.90%. Siya. So, makita nyo, the projection of the 4%, 10% are feasible na right? depende sa talagang trajectory of the market. So, do you feel that the Philippine market or the global market economy will really somehow start to recover? Then probably it's, it's time to also invest.